Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am to be having a conversation with a lovely tutor from the UK on the app Camply. Camply is an app where you can practice your English with tutors from all over the world, from countries like the USA, the UK, Canada and many more. If you want to join the app Camply, then the link is given in the description box below. You can also use the code 22adreja. Using this code, you will get 22% off on any 3-month plan. Personally, Cambly helped in improving my confidence a lot and I'm sure it will help you as well. So without any delay, let's begin with the conversation. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. And how about you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Do yeah. you pronounce your name like Andrea? It's Adrija. Adrija. Oh, yeah. beautiful name. I'm Stacy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from India. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from England, yeah. But I'm actually in Cambodia right now. So oh, this wow. is where I live. Yeah. How, how many years have you been living in Cambodia? Ooh, on and off for five years now. Yeah. Okay. So wow. I first came here in 2017, but um, usually in summer, I'll go back to the UK or to Europe. Yeah. Okay, right. So where in UK do you live? Oh, it's a small town. I'm not sure if you know it. It's called Blackpool. It's close to Liverpool. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard right. of Liverpool? They have the famous yes, football I have. team. But I haven't yeah. heard of Blackpool. So yeah, Blackpool is like a really small town just north of Liverpool yeah so how um, I'm 14 years old wow your English is so good it's amazing thank you how long have you been studying for um, English I've been studying since like when I was four years old not four even when I was two years old <laughs> so yeah I will I just oh, listen wow, like to years. <laughs> yeah so that is from where I learned this language that's amazing. Okay. Ooh, do you call it middle school where you are or high school? Well, I, here we don't really call it any school. It's just a school, like from 1 to 12, it's school. Oh, so, oh cool. So everything is like all in one. Okay. But if you That's talk about it, I'm in plus nine, so I'm in high school. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, because I know like some places it's very different. So yeah, in the UK, we have primary school and then we have high school, which is the same. So we go from year one to year 12. Yeah, so it's very similar. But we just mm -hmm. like year one to year six is primary. Yeah, year seven to year 12 is high school. Yeah, so you would be high school. Yeah. yeah. Cool, okay. So what's your favorite subject? Um, I guess science, biology especially. I don't know, it changes from time to time. <laughs> oh, I see, okay, nice. Cool. And what, what other things are you interested in? Do you have anything that you'd like to specifically talk about today? Like any topics that you're interested in? Or would you like me to just kind of like choose one? Oh, well, we can chat on any topic. But I, I wanted to know, like, do you know any other language other than English? I do. Yes. So I studied French and German when I was in school, when I was in high school. Look with my French that I spent this summer in France so I got to practice a little bit more but uh it's still not amazing <laughs> we're getting there um and my boyfriend he's from Croatia so I speak a little bit of Croatian um mainly so I can communicate with his family um especially like his older relatives they don't really speak English okay. um and yeah being in Cambodia I speak a little bit of Khmer yeah so I'll be taking lessons wow. in Khmer though too yeah that is a lot of language. I know only three languages. That is English, and my mother tongue is Bengali, and another one is Hindi. Oh, wow, cool. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, I've heard Hindi is really difficult. Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, my mother tongue is Bengali, so it's quite similar to Hindi, so I didn't really face a lot of trouble while learning Hindi. Well, someone who has not even heard of this dialect, this thing, they would face a little bit trouble. Yeah, I see. Okay. Mm. And are you planning to learn any other languages? 
Yes, I am planning because I would love to learn another language. You know, when I when I go outside, probably then it is it might be handy. So I'd love to learn French, as you said. You know, French. I'd love to learn Spanish as well. So let's see if I can. I also I really like Spanish. Um, I was taking. But um, I only took them for like a year, so it wasn't really that good. Again, basics. I know basics, like greetings and like how to count and things like that. Yeah. Mm. But um, yeah, I also I love languages. I feel like it's really nice to be able to communicate with people. Yeah. Because right. it's very That's different. 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 Yeah. Like a lot of people do speak English, but like to really like understand like the jokes and the context of the conversation. Yeah, it's really interesting to learn like their language. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. So in UK now it's fall, right? Oh, we say autumn in the UK. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. So in USA they say fall, and in UK yeah. they say autumn. Ha yes. In India also we say autumn. <laughs> yeah. In I was say, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. In India you you practice British English. Yeah. Right. Right. Absolutely. So uh, I I I just I just like to know how do you guys celebrate it in the UK, like or the autumn season? Oh. We only have two major holidays during autumn, so that would be like Halloween and mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite holidays, which is Bonfire Night or Guy Fawkes wow. Night. Yeah, where we have the big bonfire and we do a huge uh, fireworks display. Yeah, that's like the key, the key factor that's like, yeah, okay, we're in autumn and it's getting colder, it's going to winter. Yeah, Bonfire Night is usually like the last big celebration before everyone kind of goes inside for winter because obviously it gets really cold. In England, yeah. So you don't really want to be outside. <laughs> and do you like to celebrate? Rains. Do you like to celebrate Halloween? Halloween, yes, of course. It's a big deal in England. Yeah. So we have lots of traditions during Halloween. So usually we do the pumpkin carving. Uh, we make pumpkin soup. In America, they make pumpkin pie. It's like a sweet treat. I don't know. It's strange. Uh, we go trick or treating. So, so we go like knocking on people's doors, like when you're a child and you ask for candy. Yeah, right. which is, it's, it's really cool. It's really cute. Uh, when you get older, you tend to go to like um, Halloween parties. So yeah, either like at your friend's house or at like a venue, they'll throw like a big party and everybody gets uh, dressed up in like fancy dress, like mm -hmm. scary fancy dress. Yeah, like blood dripping That's down cool. your face. <laughs> That's really cool. cool. And do you How love you? to celebrate um, well, in uh, in my town, basically, we don't celebrate Halloween. Um, I don't know in India if they celebrate Halloween a lot, but we are not. It's not really a main festival, main holiday mm. kind of thing. So yeah. I have never ever celebrated Halloween in my life. But I'd love to, like, dress once you know as one of the spooky characters and all. I'd love to. Oh, you should do it. I feel like this year we're gonna have a lot of people dressing up as. Have you watched Stranger Things? Yes, I know. Yeah, so Stranger Things is like really popular. So this year, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a lot of that kind of vibe. Yeah, Stranger right. Things. Vibes, yeah. yeah. Or maybe even the Adams Family, because they're mm -hmm. coming out with a new TV show called Wednesday, which I can't wait to see. Do you like like yeah, yeah, right. I have heard of the that series Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. She's a really good actress as well. The girl who's playing Wednesday. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Yeah. But now you should, you should go to England one day, especially for Halloween. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. I'd love to visit England one time because I've seen so many beautiful, like the streets of, you know, the cities basically in London. I've seen uh, so beautiful streets and they're just lovely. I'd love to visit there once. It's, it's very different in the UK. Yeah. Um, hmm. I was really surprised when I went back this year. I was amazed at like how green it was and how like unique the and, like cobblestone streets like it's just really old like it's right. really like old-fashioned yeah there's a lot of history yeah some of the places like in europe um they tend to have like a new city and they have the old town mm -hmm. whereas in the uk we kind of like combine the two like london you have like you know trafalgar square and you have like the old victorian or even like tudor buildings like from that era mm -hmm. um and then you have like the brand new like harrods shopping center and it's like whoa okay like it's really diverse yeah it's really nice yeah. that's true and how is it different in Cambodia like I guess it's too different there very different yeah um but actually here they celebrate Halloween oh really yeah they do yeah um they they do have quite a lot of 
um, expats here, like expatriates, so people who have like immigrated and moved to Cambodia from Western countries. So um, yeah, Halloween is usually quite a big celebration here. I remember last year we got dressed up and we went to like this uh, big party. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I think as well in, in these Asian kind of countries, they love anything that's scary, anything that's scary or spooky. Um, they really enjoy it. Yeah, because um, they're very superstitious in their culture. Um, so yeah, they like listening to like ghost stories and like scary things, and they love horror movies. Like every like at the cinema, you will always find a horror movie to watch. Yeah, wow. they do. They really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm quite excited. Are you a fan of? Are you a fan of horror movies? <sighs> When I was younger, like um, not your age, but from like 16, 16 to 20, I really loved horror movies. Um, but now. I still enjoy them, but I can't watch them by myself. And so my friends will refuse to watch them. They're like, no, Stacey, why would I watch that? <laughs> so, um, no, I don't really watch them anymore. But how about you? Well, I'm, I was never a fan of horror movies, nor will I ever be. Uh, well, I do watch them, but, you know, not like I'm okay just for an entertainment purpose and that's it. I can never watch them alone. And one of my friends is like super, a super fan of horror movies. And whenever I'm going to go to her house, she's only going to <laughs> choose horror movies and I have to watch it. So that is from where I only watch the horror movies. Otherwise, I never myself choose to watch a horror movie. I okay. like, okay, I don't need to watch that. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, some people like them, some people don't. So, what is your kind of like favorite genre of mu of movies? Well, literally anything other than horror. Like, I love literally anything. I love to read books. So, my favorite genre in books would be fantasy, um, and fiction. I like. I love mystery as well. Like, mm -hmm. I have read a lot of mystery books and a lot of mystery movies. I do love action, but just for a little bit of time. Like, just an entire action movie is not my type. Uh, mm -hmm. I love a good story, basically. Uh, there needs to be a good plot. That's it. Ooh, are you currently watching Netflix? Oh, well, I don't really watch a lot of Netflix. Yeah. Uh, I was going to give you a recommendation. So I just finished it. It's got two seasons. It's called, um, and then it's like, uh, I think it's the Winx saga. So this is like fantasy. It's oh. about um, fairies, basically. Yeah. Um, but it's really good. Season one, like I couldn't stop watching it. I was like, this is amazing. So basically, it's fairies who go to a school and they're trying to figure out how to use their magic, like they're training to use their magic. And right. it was really good. So yeah, if you're into fantasy, definitely huh. recommend. Yeah. Sure, I, think it's, I sure do want that. It's actually British. Yeah, it's a British show as well. So it's really good to practice your British accent. Mm, that's true. Yeah, because on Netflix, sometimes uh, there's a lot of like American shows, but you can actually mm. hear the British accent. I was like, oh my God. Like they're like northern, like from where I'm from. I was like, that's right. so cool. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely recommend that. There's two seasons. The first season was definitely better than the second. Um, mm. But yeah, fantasy books. There's only one I have series that I was reading. I can never remember the name though because I read it like years ago. But the concept was amazing. So the idea is that as soon as you turn 14, you disappear. Mm. Like all the adults okay. just vanished. And then it's okay. like how these children like survive like without adults. And then they're trying to find the reason like why people are disappearing. Super, super good book, yeah. If I can find wow. the title, I can send it to you. But yeah, what kind sure, of- Sure, I'd love to read like that. <laughs> Well, I basically read series books. Like I have read the Percy Jackson series and then some are Cruel Prince series. These are all for fantasy series basically. Um, they are all great. Um, mm -hmm. I say like I don't I don't like fantasy movies a lot. I'm like much more of a book fan. Yeah, to be honest, I love reading books too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I was like your age, yeah, I read like I didn't read Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only I also British didn't. person who didn't really it's a bit simple um because yeah she wrote it from like the perspective i think of like a nine-year-old uh, or yeah. an eight-year-old in the first book so i was like i can't read that it's too boring 
Um, I really enjoyed the Hunger Games, though. That was a good, yes, a good one. I, yeah. I haven't read the books, but I have watched the films. The same with Harry Potter. I haven't read the book. I have watched mm -hmm. the films. There are yeah. a lot of uh, films that I've watched, basically, fantasy, that I haven't read the books. But I guess I just yeah. enjoy books more. Uh, yeah. No, honestly, I'll see if I can find that series for you because it's really good. It gets a little bit, it's like a bit of a thriller. Do you like thriller when you're reading yes, a book? I love, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll see if I can find it for you though. Yeah, we're about to run out of time, but I will definitely send you a message. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, your English yeah, same is here. amazing. Yes. Thank you so yeah, much. You're really good at articulating yourself. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope Have I can nice see day. you again next week. Yeah. Yeah, if you're free. Yeah. And I will send you that series. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. Enjoy the rest of Have your day. Nice day. Goodbye.